Hello and welcome to a very special Rumour Roundup this week where we predict the next steps of Bungie, one of the most critically acclaimed and consistently awesome developers in the industry today. With the Halo reins firmly in the Kevlar fist of 343 Industries, Bungie are now completely free to work on new IP. The biggest focus is on Destiny, a registered trademark that's confirmed as the operating code for Bungie's new project. The first details on Destiny arrived in May, revealed via leaked documents during the current court case between Bungie publisher Activision and former Infinity Ward employees Jason West and Vince Sampella. The 27-page contract confirms that the title will be an MMO shooter set in a sci-fi universe. And if you're feeling litigious, the entire contract is on the Los Angeles Times website and the link is in the description. Here's the big news. Destiny represents not one, but four games. The franchise kicks off as a 360 exclusive set for release in 2013, but tellingly the contract also reveals that Destiny will be released on the next box in the same year. A PS3 version is due for 2014, followed by sequels in 2015, 2017 and 2019. We also know that the second game will be released on PS4, PC, 360 and 720 simultaneously, but there's no further info on the third and fourth titles. Each release will be followed by expansion packages codenamed Comet. In terms of how the game works, it looks like a similar model to World of Warcraft, featuring subscriptions, microtransactions and value-added services. That's marketing git speak for non-core services that you'll probably have to shell out for. You can also expect in-game masters, similar to the GMs used by Blizzard, who will have a physical representation in the MMO world, providing persistent customer support when needed. Looking at the business model, it's no surprise that Bungie chose to go with the publisher of the biggest, most lucrative MMO on the planet. In that typically cryptic Bungie way, we're already seeing hints of Destiny everywhere. Employees have been photographed wearing Destiny t-shirts, and the distinctive symbol is seen at the end of the Oh Brave New World documentary, celebrating the developer's 20th anniversary. And because Bungie likes to do things backwards, you can already buy Destiny merchandise from their online store. Intriguingly, the logo is also trademarked as computer game software downloadable from a global computer network, suggesting digital distribution for the next-gen consoles and, more enticingly, virtual reality game software. Unfortunately, this is more of a catch-all term than a guarantee we'll be playing Bungie's latest offering with the Oculus Rift. Interestingly, the contract also contains a nugget of info for old-school Bungie fans. 5% of staff are free to work on a marathon game, presumably a reboot or continuation of their classic 90s FPS series. As the team hit their profit goals, and we're expecting that they will, the number of staff that can work on the title increases. Even if that means the only person currently working on the game is the Bungie photocopier guy, we're still excited. The most recent news is that Bungie is enlisting the help of their die-hard community as the game moves into beta testing. To give you some sense of the scale, the former Halo developer is seeking hundreds of thousands of people from all regions to test the first game in the series. Potential missions, as Bungie called them, include alpha and beta testing, usability testing, and if you're really unlucky, surveys on game playing habits. If you fancy rolling that dice, all you need is a Bungie.net account and a valid email address. All in all, it looks like fascinating stuff. We're expecting the chunky, believable sci-fi world of Halo mixed with the irresistible grind of World of Warcraft, a marriage likely to destroy what remnants of a social life we still possess. That's all we've got for now, but please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you for another Rumour Roundup next week.